So um, I'm not going to to make a prediction about the match. Uh, what I want to say that is that I am excited about that. Uh, excited about like seeing how uh, it will go. Uh, which score will we get? And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just uh, really excited to to uh, rematch Alex. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same for me. I think um, you know, I maybe am not quite at the level that I would like to be. Um, going against Andrea. <laughs> um, so I'm going to need some, some lucky, some lucky breaks for sure. Um, but I, I, I'm just going to do my best, you know, I'm just going to try to have fun with it and, um, uh, we'll see how it goes. And with these rather humble words from Andrea from Italy today against Alex, who is calm and relaxed as always the three times world champion, we start into Memory League Season 10, the final and the first discipline was international names. And international names, they have to learn quite difficult names as fast as they can. Both go for the maximum time of 60 seconds here. And that means the one with the higher score will win. So if you're not familiar with Memory League, in Memory League, both athletes have to memorize information in this example names as fast as they can they can take one minute and in this first game alex won but andrea was a good result for him 14 so alex winning the first one leading and the next choice was by andrea and andrea chooses images which means you need to memorize 30 images as fast as you can and andrea is very strong here and in the end he stopped the time for 13.04 seconds which is quite good for him and alex stopped the time a bit slower here with 17.05 that means if andrea gets everything correct during the recall he wins it because of the better time let's take a look on the best scores here best times and you can see that here andrea had his best result with just under 10 seconds that's more than world class and the real call went quite good for both of them until that point here then andrea was stuck here a bit with two images and the problem is the time is better for andrea but if he messes up the last two images so if he swaps the last two images then alex would win the game because score before time so first the score is compared and alex has already 30 Andrea puts them in the wrong order here, 28, which would mean that Alex wins that here. Let's wait if Andrea can fix that. And he needs to fix that and he's fixing that. What a wonderful save here from Andrea. So he wins the first game if he keeps it like that. And usually we're waiting for that, but suddenly he was swapping it back and putting it in the wrong direction again waiting if he would keep it right now and he keeps it and you see it from his reaction here just a small reaction but you will see that throughout the whole match and Alex very very calm and relaxed showing not so many emotions while Andrea you can really tell from his face that he is disappointed about this result next discipline cards and in cards you have to memorize 52 cards uh, poker deck as fast as you can this time alex was a quite great time 14.97 and it looks very slow for andrea here actually 29 seconds for andrea is quite slow if you look on the score from the last year here in the recall both athletes have to put in the cards in the right position and in the end alex was left with four cards here can he do it two cards to go he needs that or would he swap them as andrea did in images no he didn't and he kept it to the end so it was three no already for alex andrea lost only one match in the whole year of 2020 and that was against alex would he lose that again here words was the next discipline alex was a bit slower here and we are just in the last minute 30 seconds to go from the recall and andrea fixed one gap here 48 48 now again a very close match but andrea wins it with 49 the first point for andrea 
and that's a very very important for him because otherwise it might really go in the direction as the arena of memory match went in summer. Next discipline was numbers. In numbers you have to memorize 80 digits and they're quite close on time here in the end. Wow, what a close time. Andrea was 13.8 versus Alex was 13.09. And uh, let's take a look on the recent scores of 2020. Andrea a bit faster on average, I would say. But in the end, very, very close to each other. We saw both athletes very solid here. Everything is green, so everything is correct. And remember, Andrea was a bit faster. But he needs, he might need all correct and he has three, three digits wrong, a three digit gap here and Alex was a perfect score so far. 80 for Alex, Andrea needs to figure out his gap here, otherwise Alex wins that again because score before time, he was typing something but that was wrong. He was playing around again, but in the end he couldn't figure it out. And that means the first set already to Alex here, like in the arena of memory. The only loss of Andrea, 4-1 for Alex, set one. And uh, let's listen to our co-commentators, Katie and Guillaume. Well, I, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was quite upsetting because I was expecting something like closer, you know, like, uh, but... Uh, so so it's funny to see how a tiny mistake or a tiny time difference can make a, a huge difference in, in this kind of high level uh, matches. So yeah, congrats to, to Alex for the, the first set. Uh, and my worry would be that this might give a psychological advantage to, to Alex and uh, I hope it's not gonna diminish Andrea's um, skills too much. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I, it's weird how it's it's gone very similar to in the arena of memory, like with Alex just kind of winning the first set quite easily, or you know, not easily, but you know, quite well. Um, but with Andrea sort of adopting a different strategy, so he's not just like going for really, really, really fast times. He's he's kind of sometimes going a bit slower or trying to do something a little bit safe. So it, it's weird how it's kind of worked out the same, even though he was was playing it differently. Um, I, I think he'll come back um, a bit more aggressively in the second set. We are going into set two, starting with images. Definitely again, a favorite discipline for Andrea. And he started fast again with 12.97, while Alex was playing it a bit safer with 17.35. Actually, the same situation as in the first run, but this time both get everything correct. And that was the 1 0 lead for Andrea in set two. Next discipline, international names. And uh, Alex, usually the favorite here, as we have seen that in the first round, but that was already very close. And Andrea's level was not that high in the past, but let's dive into the record here. We fast forward that a bit because 20 for Alex here, 90 for Andrea, but then 2020 and 21, 22, suddenly Andrea with a very, very strong result here. Andrea's best score was 18 so far, so that would be a personal record. Would Andrea win this here? And yes, he wins it. And that was really, really, as I said, already unexpected. And you see that from Andrea's reaction here that that was a big, big point here for him. Here And you see that from the chat here, a little, little smile here from Andrea, unexpected, question mark. And uh, yeah, the reaction, just a nice one and a wow from Alex. So yeah, Andrea with a big point, 2-0. Next discipline, words again, and in words, it's really, as in all the disciplines, about you know, high accuracy. And the times were, yeah, quite close, but Alex was faster, five seconds. And if you look on the best scores here, Alex with the lower scores in time. And uh, in the end, it was 49 for Alex here and 48 for Andrea. So Andrea would need 50 to win this run because otherwise Alex would win it with 49. One minute 30 left and Andrea with 49 now. That's the question, can he fix one more word here? And it looked like that he was going through this and then he might realize that this was 
maybe only a typo here let's check that and yes he did it 50 words well andrea so now alex needs to fix the last word here to get this done and he wrote refuse instead of refusal which is a mistake but in the end he couldn't figure it out so andrea wins words with 50 and leads right now 3-0 in the second set and that means set point for andrea in the second set and uh, well done andrea mutzi 50 words in 51 seconds alex just so with a set point against him alex chooses cards which is really as we have seen that before his favorite discipline and that was so close again 13.6 versus 13.28 just such a small margin in terms of time for andrea here and for andrea it would be a personal record while alex is just in the middle of the top 10 result and in the end it wasn't possible for him the time was great but 48 cards was not enough even if it was great and that means a 3-1 for andrea but still plenty of time for andrea to win the set so still set points for andrea and he chooses a number so also one of his very very strong disciplines here uh, at least actually he doesn't have so many weak disciplines even international names isn't weak anymore looks like that and uh, here he stopped the time uh, about two seconds faster than alex but during the recall he had a couple of problems here you see here two digits wrong then a bigger gap and alex was not typing here as usual and uh, going through everything in his head but then suddenly alex disappeared and uh, was disconnected from the recall you see only andrea here but usually memory leak works like that that the connection even if it's disconnected it saves the data and then as soon as the connection comes back everything shows up and andrea was also wondering here writing what happened here and uh, was waiting for alex to come back and suddenly everything appeared here and the problem was that the score was still at 12 so but we have seen that before on memory leak that's not a big deal because you just can count it and in the end uh, in the end it would be eight digits wrong for alex which means 72 for to 70 for alex here that happens but in the end everything was fair set point for andrea see again the numbers and let's see who is faster this time alex won it last game with 72 to 70 so no perfect score for both of them andrea just needs a faster time and a better score alex stopped the time at 11.8 three seconds better than his first run and we're going to a fast forward numbers recall here you see andrea everything correct no problem 80 digits the time is great and he must have thought that he got this correct but alex typing thinking 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 would he have a gap here that was the question not so much time left but then he filled these empty spots here and in the end he was able to figure it out 80 digits in 11.83 just an amazing result and look at andrea again here um he knows he got everything correct but fantastic time from alex under pressure so 3-3 three, three after 3-0 three, no for andrea only 3-3 three, three. and 3-3 three, three means that no one can win on the next point because you need a two games lead the next discipline national names and alex stopped the time at 44.3 while andrea was going for 47.63 both great times and uh, during the recall it looked good for both first andrea here with 25 alex with 26 27 but very close to each other but if alex can get everything correct and he did then andrea has no chance to win it even if he would get all 30 done 
And in the end, you see Andrea was capable of getting all 30. So he thinks that he might have won this game and sees again with a perfect score like in numbers. Being beaten by time here from Alex. What a wonderful performance. After 3-0 down, Alex now leading 4-3 and having the match point. First match point for Alex and a slight smile here on Alex's face showing at least a couple of emotions. So match point for Alex and he can win the second time in 2020 against Andrea if he wins this world's game. Andrea with a super strong, super fast time, 30 point, 39.59, which would be a personal best in competitive matches for Andrea in 2020. And long story short here, both had some trouble, but Alex with more mistakes. Actually, they, he just swapped some words here. If he wouldn't have swapped then, he would get up to 48 and Andrea wins that with 49. What a fantastic time and a great, great score. 49 and 39 seconds. That's just amazing. Under that pressure, 4-4. So next discipline chosen by Andrea, but it wasn't really a choice because that was his only choice left and that was cards. And Andrea was again 13.7. That means actually it was quite the same all over the place. That means he would get the personal record here, but in the end he again failed very, very closely on 47 cards and couldn't figure it out. Alex was a perfect time, 52. So Andrea losing that point and there's a, or not, would he not lose that? But just four seconds left and he ends up with 50, which is quite strong. But in the end, 5-4 for Alex and another match point. So close for Andrea here. So match point number two for Alex Mullen from the US here on images, the last discipline out of the first 10 games and this time Alex changed his strategy. Andrea again just going fast here for 11.5 but Alex playing it very safe and solid and going for 60 seconds means that he just needs to get it correct and Andrea needs a mistake but 5-5 five five and all games were set back and they could choose from all the disciplines again. So with all disciplines on his plate, Andrea chooses images and it was quite the same in the last trial here. Alex going slow, Andrea going fast and hoping for a mistake from Alex for Andrea to win this game here, which is a quite reasonable strategy. But again, Andrea so strong on images, no hesitation at all. And that means another set point for Andrea. But this time Alex has the full chance of choosing everything and it chooses cards. And this time Andrea go again went for a fast time, but not that fast as before. And he really looked like he pushed Alex to 13.69 because in the previous attempts Andrea was going for 13 something and he was so close to getting it correct. So Alex speed it up here a bit and during the recall they both started very slow and uh, were struggling in the beginning but also in the end look at the last 30 seconds here Andrea only 43 guessing a couple of cards here in the end and that means Alex just needs six more cards to win that here and draw the game to 6-6 six, six. so would Andrea really win this set with a 43 and cards I mean they both played already up to three hours here up to this point so stamina, stamina might have an influence here and Alex really didn't get it correct here. 37 cards only. Andrea drawing the match 1-1 one, one here. Three hours of playtime already. And after being up 3-0 and then down 4-3, Andrea wins set 2 with a 7-5. So we will see the final set 
which gives us the decision who wins the Memory League Season 10, like in the Arena of Memory, both have to play a third set and we were very curious who would win this one. And set 3 again started with international names where Andrea have surprised us today because usually it's Alexis is favorite here. 16-16 here. So would it be a drawn game? But two minutes to go here and Andrea putting ein 1-1 one, one name going up to 17. That would mean he would win another international names game here and that would be a huge point for him and you see that Andrea already done winning this game and celebrating this one big point another big point here two times international names lost from Alex Marlin that might be the key to the match for Andrea next discipline images but again the same scenario here Andrea going fast 12 seconds and a little Alex playing it safe but Andrea was no trouble getting everything correct leading to null after two games in set three but Andrea was already leading 3-0 in the second set so let's see and you really see that here that's a typical picture Alex focusing closed eyes Andrea moving a lot but now trying to focus a bit with closed eyes but they just have a different approach on focusing on the next game here. And this was cards chosen by Alex. He messed up the last cards game and said two, just 37 cards. Would that affect the next run, this run here? Now he really needs that. Otherwise, Andrea would have already three match points. And I'm not sure if he would waste that again, that chance. And Andrea was again with just below 14 seconds. But it seems that 14 seconds is a bit too fast for him still. Alex with a safe time, 52 cards, maybe went a bit slower on purpose just to have it correct, knowing that Andrea had a lot of trouble today getting at least one deck of cards together. And that means Alex winning this point 2-1 and we will see another choice from Andrea. And this choice was words. And Alex with a wow, 50 words, typed it all in 51 seconds. He was a bit slower, so Andrea would need also 50 to win this game. And it was 49 again. Could he be able to figure one more out one more word again? He was moving down with this little yellow button here. Coming closer to this one wrong word, which was just a typo fixing that, going for 50, and I mean losing with 50, that's something you don't see that often. You see that in the first division, but that's really, really a rare, rare result here. Well done, Andrea, and that means match points for Andrea Mutzi in the Memory League Season 10, and Alex just can't shake his head here. What can you do with 50 in 51 seconds? Just an amazing performance from both players. And after three and a half hours, we see the first match point for Andrea after being one set down, one now leading 3-1 in set three. And that was on numbers. And yeah, there was just a open fight and after three and a half hours, that's so tough to get something here sometimes like that. And in the end, we are looking at this here, 10 seconds to go, but no match point used for Andrea here. Just 74, having some trouble at some digits, was waiting for the final result and seeing that he didn't get it correct. So another chance for Alex to strike back. Bose has given us have given us a great fight in this match and it all ends up with names national names that was the question andrea stopping the time just about one and a half seconds faster than alex and the recall also looked good for andrea here so far and 
in the end no struggle no trouble andrea finishing with style 30 names now no chance for alex if he would get 30 correct even then he wouldn't win because andrea was just this one and a half seconds faster and let's take on this reaction he wouldn't change anything in the end and it has just 20 seconds to go andrea muzzi with 30 names while alex was playing around here 26 27 couldn't figure it out we were waiting for the last tech 10 seconds also andrea waiting for the last seconds here not clicking the finish button yet but waiting for the final result and now he is the winner of memory league season 10 andrea muzzi after three and a half hour three hours 45 here we go well done and the confidence is back and congratulations to andrea muzzi from italy now winning memory league season 10 against I would say his biggest opponent here in this year's memory league season well done thank you very much everyone and let's listen to some feedback from the athletes ah uh, great <laughs> obviously i mean um I, especially after uh, such a, best, a bad start uh, i was 3-0 and uh, yeah, it was going in the same way as the um, other match. Actually, the, the same. I mean, he won the first match, but uh, for uh, one instead of for zero. And then in the second one, a lot of match point, but I won. So it was really close and uh, really similar to, to the the other one. Uh, but in this third set, I kind of dominated. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I mean. Um... <clears throat> Obviously, I, I'm, you know, a little disappointed not winning. <laughs> I think it's, um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm overall, you know, my performance, I, I think I did about as well as I could have. Um, <clears throat> you know, obviously, I think there were places um, where, you know, I made some mistakes and, and it kind of, it cost me a game or two. But, uh, but you know, I think obviously we could both say that for, for lots of the games. And then also, I think I was lucky in a lot of ways to win some of the games that I did. So, um, overall, I mean, I, I, you know, obviously you can hope for a better performance, but I think, you know, all things considered, I'm pretty happy with the way, with the way uh, I was able to perform. Um, definitely, you know, fatigue became a really important factor in this game, um, especially, at least for me, especially with the cards. I, I just like got to a point where, you know, when I was trying to go as fast as I could, I just couldn't hold the images in very clearly. Um, and so, you know, towards the end, I tried to slow down a little bit to correct for that, but um obviously you can't you can't slow down too much if you're playing against andrea so it's kind of a except for images yeah. which you did <laughs> yeah um so uh yeah i mean i'm just very tired but you know overall overall um could have been worse uh, so many italians are cheering for you uh andrea thank, thank you thank you thank you <laughs> yeah just a couple of words for your italian friends i would think that would be cool Oh, in Italian? Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can do like, uh, um, and um, I don't know the name, but it's uh, <laughs> something that we used to do in, we, we, we used to do in Italy, uh, especially in a football match, when you want to, to like support your um, team, which is po, 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 po. Uh, <laughs> That's cool. But uh, I, I mean, just, I, I want to thank um, everybody um, and uh, between sets, uh, I, I um, read the chat, uh, not, not everything, but uh, I saw a lot of Italian. And so uh, it's, uh, it's cool to, to have uh, uh, such a, a support. And so thank you. Thank you very much for that.